Yo, what's going on, guys? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi and um, back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and we are back again with another exciting reaction for the Super Smash Bros. iteration, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, we haven't done anything relating to Smash in quite a bit, um, but ever since the last time you probably watched any kind of videos, on uh, this channel it was definitely a uh, reaction towards Terry. We've definitely been keeping up with all of the DLC content that's been coming our way. First Smash Ultimate, Masahiro Sakurai, Sakurai Daddy, Senpai, whatever the hell you want to call him. He has been outdoing himself, providing us with literally the best of the best and making every character that has been included in Smash Ultimate so themselves that while at the same time like making them fit the smash formula so perfectly that it's almost like all these characters belonged in the first place and that's i mean honestly arguably a lot of these characters a lot of people will always tell you they belong in smash they this person belongs in smash they belong in smash but here we are with a smash direct that was um earlier today at the time of this recording and unfortunately i wasn't able to um skip work or stay home or anything like that or to even record my reaction while i was at work um i was hoping that it wasn't going to be too busy today but i kind of to give you guys some kind of update before we get right into this um yeah that's pretty much what happened but all together um i turned off all notifications i did not want to get any hint or any like any kind of lead towards who we could potentially be seeing um in the as the latest uh fighter to this first season path and my prediction was dante um especially going with the recent news with uh, how capcom made a tweet saying like pay attention to this date and this date was this smash direct considering how devil may cry games have been uh getting added to the eShop. Um, and the third one, I believe DMC3 is still not out yet, or if it's out now or soon or whenever. The point and the fact of the matter is, is that all things lead right back to Dante being a high possibility being included. And not gonna lie, I actually have been uh, calling Dante's inclusion in Smash Bros. ever since they added Bayonetta back in Smash 4 because I don't know if you guys remember but Bayonetta was a problem back in that time and my solution was well if you're gonna give us a problem Capcom character then what better way to deal with said problem than to put Dante because you know they're both from Capcom they, they have similar types of games and you know that was a joke back then but I mean I was kind of being serious at the same time and here we got Possibly, my prediction is Dante. Now, Sakurai was pointing three fingers when he was like in that in a little image. Um, some people were saying that could be like in reference to Crash Bandicoot because he did like something similar with a hand gesture, or we could possibly be any three characters. Um, aside from this, I don't want to put any of my other like picks that I would love to see because, quite honestly, I love this game so much as it is right now, and Sakurai has overdone himself and has overly exceeded all of my or any of my people like friends that i know and their expectations okay so and right before we actually get started on this i do want to give a big shout out to cutie pie x my lovely lady who knew how important this was to me and i asked if it was somehow able if she was somehow able to give me this direct without having any kind of spoilers because apparently the title of on any link or any video that has this uh, direct basically reveals who exactly um, the reveal is. So thank you. I love you very much. But now we are finally going to get right into it. So let me uh, get back into my video mode. <clears throat> Let's get do you like anime do you like japanese inspired things do you like clothes i'm sure you like to stay warm well i got this stuff for you introducing imori.com a website that introduces anime and japanese inspired styled clothing made in-house and you can use the code uchi15 to save yourself 15 percent off of all these cool dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. All right, here we go. This is going to be, this is a long one, so we'll be here for a little bit. Are, 
Are these Fire Emblem characters? I think this is Fire Emblem. I don't know who Zaharas is. They just look like Fire Emblem characters. Damn. Sothis. Byleth? Yo. Well, I will say this. I don't know nothing about these characters. Who is Byleth? Byleth. Bro, is, it, is a Fire Emblem character. Wow. We were so stumped. Oh! Okay. Honestly, though, it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was really expecting Dante. Then he got washed. What happened? There's a female version too. So that was how you plan to win the day? What? I reward your cleverness this time. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, I can understand now why there would be Byleth recruits Byleth. Wait a minute, is this the better version? Of the females better? I am so confused. Uh that that I like that length. Ooh. I was trying to say before, like as long as their movesets are dope, I honestly really don't care. But I definitely, I was not expecting them to put yet another Fire Emblem character. If they are actually Fire Emblem characters, though. Ooh, okay. The hype, though, definitely died. Yup, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not gonna lie, it's pretty... It's a letdown for me. Because I'm not, like... I, I don't play Fire Emblem games. I love their characters. That's different. That's... Six bucks for both. They're basically, it's basically Robin. It's the new Robin. Yeah, please. I figure you were going to spend time, you know, showcasing and explaining to me where these characters are, who these characters are. Interesting, did not know that. Marusu. Yo, I'm... Hmm. Damn, man. They really added another Fire Emblem character. I mean, yo, Fire Emblem makes his money. It's popular. 
What can I say? I can't. Mm. I'm just like, uh, I I honestly thought they were not gonna add characters that were from IPs that are already in the game. Like that, I thought that was the whole point of the fighter pass. Like, dude, they hit us with freaking. Let's think. Let's think. Excluding Piranha Plant, got Joker, Banjo Kazooie. Terry, Hero, like those were all characters from games that were never featured in Smash before. And the last characters of Fire Emblem, like, I don't know, man, I don't know. This is like another Robin Corrin, I just realized. I, I forgot about Corrin. I used to play Corrin in Smash 4. Yeah, that's that's insane. The game's stories are told by Chronicle of War with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Several characters also appear in Super Smash Brothers series and six for Super Smash Brothers. Six fighters from the Fire Emblem series have a counter move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, well that's interesting. That's not. It's good to know how. It's, it's nice to hear when Sakurai is like revealing how he like went about going about things. Damn, my man knows all the Fire Emblem games. Yo, he's slipping us off. Nah, it's like. Wow. Wow. That's what the three. Fuck, man. What? He was counting in binary. Dude, Sakura is not human. I love this guy. But what the fuck? Ha! What? Dude, what does this have anything to do with the <laughs> Sakurai? Why? Wow. I did not know anything about three houses like that. That's crazy. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played an early version of the game before its release. Dude, my man. Wow, dude, that's crazy. He literally So he really gets these games early. I mean, it would make sense cuz I'm like he's not putting other characters that could have been in the game cuz they were they were too late or missed the timing, but yet three houses in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
That shit came out this year. Or 2019, sorry. What the hell? Wow, dude. They had these characters literally all good to go. This is... This... Damn. It's January, and he did this in November. Wow. Wow, the mobility sucks. That's okay. The mobility sucks. My man has a bow and arrow and big ass swords. Sword of the Creator. Ooh, I like that multi hits up smash. Hitbox is a little interesting. So he's got a Joker up B. Oh, that looked cool. <gasps> it's better than that. That's disgusting. It's literally safe. Because then it puts you above them. When, even if you do it off stage, that's ridiculous. Of course. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good reach. Oh, yeah. Damn, that fair was nice. Dude, Byleth's fair confirmed better than Marth's. What? Bruh. They're on a new stage too, obviously. Wow, so tilted forward smash is stronger. Hmm. Of course, it's tipper. Tipper, bro. It's all about the tippers. Side B, upward swing with extreme reach. What the hell? Nah, that's damn. I don't know. That, uh, that's, that, that is good, but uh, charges forward during smash attacks. Yeah. Oof. Mm. 
Mm, okay, so you cover more distance in the air if you do it. But take into account, with all these great moves, apparently the mobility is trash. But we'll see what happens. A mirror. Oof. A downward swing of the axe. Yikes. Damn. Down B, that shit kills. <gasps> wow, has super armor. Busted. Yo. You can literally eat a falcon punch. Oof, but you get grabbed. Of course, I mean, that's fair. Okay. That's okay. You get input down after it's charging. And you can switch. Oh my god, you saw the hitbox? It, it goes behind them too. Oh wow. That's wide area of hit. Oh yeah. He, I like how he's giving this advice and tips. Don't use them against Fire Emblem characters because you will get countered. Neutral air. I like neutral air that moves like that. That are multi hit. Fail not is the fire of the bow. Wow, so you you can't interesting. So you can only release the arrow once it's fully charged. Okay, so it's kind of like interesting. So it's kind of like a uh, energy shot from like Samus or some shit. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So you can't cancel out of it if you're if you're committing to the charge, which actually is pretty fair. Damn, that shine. Uh, that, that, you didn't even see it go. You couldn't. You didn't have time to reflect that back. Wow. 
The nice range on the uh, final smash. By Leth. How many colors they get? The third, fourth, and fifth colors are in the DC, reminiscent of the house. That's dope. Vader originally will, of course, understand what I'm referring to. Yeah, I would expect that. Oh, okay. That kind of look familiar, like look like freaking, freaking uh, what's her name? Near Automata, whatever. Why can't I think of the name? I can't believe he. It's gonna take this long, like thirty-eight whole minutes, to explain all this stuff. Like he's already on the stage. Like what else could he? I'm telling you, there has to be more. Damn, that's pretty cool. So you got Marketplace. So the Blue Line House, of course, making their appearances. So you could break the booths. If you do break them, the screen will expand to the left and right. Mm, okay. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> the laughing sound effects are it's killing me. You often pass through this area and fire on blue houses and you end up talking to them. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Wow. Damn, that state the, the the area, this stage is looking nice. Black Eagle House. Man, they should let let, let this should be legal. I wanna see cool looking stages like this. Oh my god, you can literally go on the chandeliers. However, riders can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. <laughs> That's funny. You can't even reach it as your own stage. See being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. Aha. Okay, Sakurai. Yeah, I mean these character this character is gonna be fun to play, I can already tell. I'm just like not damn, I really want I really was expecting like a a brand new type of IP that's never been introduced to Smash. Like that was that was I was under that impression, but Fire Emblem is that popular that three houses was able to still be represented even though their game only just came out this past summer. That's fucking nuts. This reminds me of the uh, that Zelda stage, that freaking bridge of bridge of something, bridge of Elden. I don't even know. This stage looks really nice. I love this part. This part is dope. With all the mountains. Yeah. 
Get acquainted with cathedrals for tenor, flame, and rail. Their tenor, which seems to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, flame, she seems to be under the protection of him and rail, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identity. I feel that flame might be saying that Hush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. Yeah, Sakura not trying to spoil the game. Oh wow. Let's see Byleth in action. Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle and squad fight with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per time. Alright, here we go, Joker. Joker What? A hero Okay, he wants to go right to Byleth. My man made sure he had the items on for this. <laughs> I love his I love his self commentary. <laughs> I love Sakurai. Go ahead, Ike. Oh. I wonder I wonder what uh CPU level they're on. Uh scoop. Damn. Dude, Sakurai loves his damn freaking... He loves his items. Uh-oh. He better be careful. He's about to die. Oh, did he, get, he, he break the shield? Wow, the odds of that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he probably put them on like CPU 1 or 2, man. Whap! His sound effects are great. Wow, he said good game to the CPU. That's how wholesome Sakurai is, guys. Song collection. How many songs are you getting? That's insane. Damn, it must be it must feel nice to be a Fire Emblem fan, I'll tell you that. Shit. Oh, y'all getting two Japanese tracks with the oh, I guess the a re, the a regular one. Oh, that's dope. A heroic legacy. I like that. Hmm. 
So what Mii Fighter costumes is coming through? Are they all going to be Fire Emblem themed? I'd imagine. What? Assassin's Creed? Altair? Are you serious, bro? They got Altair as a fucking me fighter? That shit would have been hype as a character. I would have never thought to put Altair in there. Rabbids. I mean, that just makes sense. Honestly, though, like, the Me Fighter outfits... Like, the Me Fighter characters are really good as it is, so... Mega Man X? Wow, X Gunner. I mean, I figured... I, I figured... Okay, whatever. I'm not... Hold that. Mega Man Battle Network? Yeah, man, like... Playing, playing the Mii Fighters, they're, 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 they're so solid. Like, just being able to get all these costumes is great. Wow, Cuphead. That's, dude, shout outs to these indie games. Make it into Smash, bro. Hold up. My, my man Cuphead is literally Mickey Mouse with a cup for a head. And he got a straw in there. That's a pretty dope me fighter outfit pack right there, son. Not gonna lie. But there's still like mad time left. 75 cents each. Yeah, I saw that. You get an additional song if you purchase Cuphead. That's really dope, man. That's great. That saves me so much time. More amiibos, of course. Oh, what do you know? Those are available tomorrow at the time of this recording. Dude, I totally gave up on... I totally gave up on getting the amiibos, bro. Hero, Banjo, Terry, Byleth. Pretty solid. <laughs> you saw his face? He was like, so many to start with. That, yeah. Smash Ultimate just keeps evolving. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, my God. Even more fighters in development confirmed. Challenge. Oh, we're getting five more. Oh. <gasps> Six? Oh my god. All the way. Of course. So this shit goes all the way until December 31st, 2021. 
steps regarding potential candidates on Twitter. I'm afraid it will be very hard to consider them. They've already considered who they're, they're putting in? But I still hope you'll look forward to That's wild, bro. We're also including the voters with Fiverr's past volume 2. Last time, it was a rest concert. But this time, here's what we have. Okay, so what's the special bonus for pre-purchasing? Come on, man. Enough with the Me Fighter outfits. I mean, that shit looks nice, but damn. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm going to have to, I'm going to get the season two anyway. Lastly. That's that's a flex. Is it a fighting game? You damn right it is. Oh yeah. Look at him talking about the history of Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. That's godlike. It's more than a fighting game. I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you got all these guests in there. I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. He's not gonna he's not gonna reveal no more. The first fighter pack just wrapped up. But it was decided that there will be more DLC. Which means no breaks from DLC. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the entire direct. No teases, no nothing extra. We're getting more Fire Emblem characters. So with that being said and watching all of that, I will give Sakurai the credit where the credit is due. This man is literally grinding out here, trying to give us the best possible content for smash ultimate and even him questioning like it's you know is this just a fighting game and i can understand why the creator would want to believe more of the the thing that he is creating because look how intricate this game is i mean like he makes he pays attention to so much detail not even just within the characters but the stages that come along with it and like it literally every any little thing that makes that character feel like they were already a part of the game to begin with. Like, I am very impressed, even though I'm not as excited as I was leading into the final character because everyone pointed at Dante. Like, 90% of everyone online were all talking about Dante and saying like, yo, Dante is definitely gonna be in this game. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's gonna be in it this time around. Doesn't mean that he won't be included within the next season of dlc characters we're gonna have literally six more fighter packs they call them fighter packs because it's not just the character that we're getting even though like that's what a lot of people like to just immediately talk about but it's a character it's a stage and then it's a soundtrack it's you know they, they're including songs and like most likely uh they'll i think i'm not sure if me me outfits are included but looking at how they've been doing things it seems to be like it's like around six bucks per pack and you might as well spend the 24.99 just to save yourself a little bit of money i like how he takes the time to acknowledge like things that people have addressed like or how are you gonna sell us on something where we don't even know like what we're buying right well that's been a problem for a lot of games in general not even just fighting games and you know we do see like certain developers and companies take a different approach and they do show and they, they, they share with us like all the characters that we can expect to see whereas i feel like the element of surprise is really something important and makes it that much more special especially with fighting games and especially with smash Bros. like this if you ask me i'm most definitely gonna spend my freaking 25 bucks 
on the next fighter pass or the season pass whatever the hell it is season two what are my thoughts on Byleth? well the character looks fun to play looks like they have really good moves but unfortunately as far as the hype going into it i'm just kind of questioning i'm not even questioning because i can understand why they would include another fire emblem character but man, like, I love the Fire Emblem characters because they look, they're dope looking characters. And for the most part, the majority of those characters, like, I've had fun playing with. But I did not expect them to really go ahead and put a character from Three Houses in there when they could have put anyone else. Looking forward, if you want to ask me who do you think my next picks are for the next six leading in to season two, just to go off the top of the head, I'll just throw Dante just to start because I felt like he should have been this last one for... Uh, season one we got Sora we got Master Chief we got Spyro we got Crash Bandicoot and for the sixth character it's either probably gonna have to either go to Sly Cooper or my favorite personal pick Goku okay I don't care what people say like I know he's gonna break the internet if that if that's ever a thing I digress they could put whoever the hell that they that they feel necessary that that would be fitting or whatever but I feel like at least the first five that I just named definitely have somewhat of a higher chance in probability than anyone else. I mean, there's also characters like Lara Croft and Tifa and Chun-Li. Like, those are other characters. But honestly, I don't want them to put uh, characters from games that we already have in Smash. I think, I mean, that's kind of safe to say because, look, Sora belongs in the game. Chief... Halo belongs in the fucking game. And I could go on and on and on. That could probably be its own video in itself. So maybe we'll talk about that later on stream or something like that. Hope you guys liked the reaction for whatever it was. Like, sorry, but like I do wear my emotions on my uh, on my wrist. I was not going to fake. I, I don't fake anything. But like, you guys can tell if I'm really into something. I like, I really was not. My hype was just, mm, like I, I avoided social media all day to just see Fire Emblem characters getting out of Smash. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? But either way, I'm thankful and grateful that Sakurai is working so hard and diligently on this game and it's, it's, it's great to know that my man is still gonna be hard at work adding not even just five more characters but six more fucking characters in the next uh, season of, of Smash Ultimate. So thank you Sakurai, arigato gozaimasu and thank you all for you guys watching. Um, hope you guys already hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, definitely please do that so that way, you know, more people see uh, the content that we got for you going on this channel um, like this. Definitely have more Smash related things coming to you guys in the future. Um, also look forward to a bunch of other things I have going on um, for the channel, video game wise, full power podcast wise, and streams and all that kind of stuff. We are definitely trying to get partnered this year. So make sure you're following me on Twitch, follow on Twitter. All the supporting links are going to be in the description below as always. Keep it real, lock loaded, and classy. Keep it right here on the Uji Games channel, guys. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Have a good one. May the power protect you, and I will see y'all next time.